Based on the information gathered, it is recommended that Pascal's data be formatted and integrated into the base network so that he doesn't threaten the property or safety of the camp's residents. I know this is the most sensible option, but Pascal... Welcome, outsider. Thanks to Clara's hard work, the repairs were completed successfully. Yes. The little fella is alive and well again. It's just that... Some parts aren't completely back to normal yet. Well... How should I put it? You, Pascal! Good! I am called Name! Oh, look! Pascal is greeting you! It's just... His speech is still a little confusing. The examination conducted earlier revealed that the information stored in this robot's core module is incompatible with the new hardware. Furthermore, many defective networks were detected in the core module. A significant amount of muddled information with unknown content was discovered during a deep scan. Simply put, Pascal's brain is filled with junk information of unknown origin. This junk, along with hardware that's incompatible with his core, fortunately, apart from the language module, Pascal is still functioning properly. However, the robot still has a 44.7% chance of malfunctioning. It's recommended that Pascal's data be formatted and integrated into the base network. Mr. Sparrow? I understand, but I think Pascal is different. He possesses a quality that other small robots don't have. In some ways, I believe he's similar to Mr. Sparrow. I can't overlook this unique quality. Mr. Sparrow, could you give me a little more time? I want to investigate this further. If we don't find anything, you can integrate Pascal into the network. Understood, Clara. I respect your wish. In the meantime, I'll make sure that this robot doesn't endanger other people or property. I'd like to recap what I discussed with Mr. Svarog earlier. Let's begin by doing exactly what we did before. According to the analysis, Pascal's original hardware was a direwolf or grizzly model. There are all kinds of abandoned robots in the machine graveyard. Let's go take a look. I commend. I'm with you. It's the same old place. Everywhere you look, there. Hey, big brother, take a look over there. This is an automaton direwolf, but it appears to have been modified. It's most likely another abandoned robot pet. Although it doesn't seem to be functioning, you should still be cautious when approaching it. Oh no! It's still active! Watch out! Thank you. 
Let's quiet him down. What a headache. What? Ah! Is that all? Here, the thunder. <laughs> Time for the... Show no mercy. That'll take more than me. <laughs> Don't mess with me. <gasps> Here it is. This is the core. I'll pack it up and take it with us. Hmm. Then all that's left is to drag the shelf back. It's okay. I'm strong too. Judging from how active the robot was, its core isn't just scrap metal. It should be repairable. I can't let any robot go to waste if it can be repaired. Thank you. You know, I have a large safe full of core modules that I've gathered around the underworld. Every day, I try to figure out how to repair some of them and return the robots to normal. But I'm sure I can fix them all one day. Really? I can't wait! Ah, uh, I was talking so much that I totally lost track of time. Let's head back. Other... Mr. Sparog, we're back! Welcome back! Return! Clara! Rivet! Fail! You're... Welcome back, Clara. I've completed my further analysis of this robot. Conclusion. It is impossible to determine the time of manufacture, purpose, and ownership of this robot. During my analysis, I extracted the robot's serial number and searched for it in the Underworld's automaton database. According to my search, there are 32 automatons with the same serial number as this one. Even after eliminating the scrapped ones, Three automatons still match the keyword description. Failure. Three. Back. Rivet one. Fail. Ear. It appears so. I'm not sure what he's trying to say, though. While we were talking, the robot's failure rate increased. We should activate alert mode. Tempering. Tempering. Back. Back! Back to Rivet! Fire! Fire! Pascal is becoming increasingly unstable. Pascal, I'm going to change your shell. Back! 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 Back to Rivet! Return. Waiting. Continue. Repair. Waiting. Failure. Waiting. Still not functioning properly? Watch out, Clara. Failure. Failure. Pascal? No! He's running away! Clara! Pascal! Did he run off towards Rivet Town? No, Clara. Just leave it to me. I'll order the robots to pursue this one. No, Mr. Svarog. Please, don't. Please leave Pascal to me. It was my decision to keep him in the first place, so I must take full responsibility. I'm certain Pascal won't do anything to harm anyone. But if something goes wrong... Please let me handle this myself. Please, Mr. Svarog. shirk my responsibilities. I'll do it. I'm certain Pascal would never do anything to harm anyone. Clara, please tell me how you came to this conclusion. Pascal possesses a quality that other small robots lack. It's kind of similar to the emotions we humans have. I've only ever seen this quality in Mr. Svara. 
I feel a warmth from these emotions. I feel drawn to this quality and try to respond back in my own way. But I'm also aware that not all emotions in this world are positive. If there are too many negative emotions that go unchecked, then someone needs to step in and stop them. The only things that can stop such negative emotions are rationality and responsibility. This is a valuable lesson I've learned from Mr. Svara. Mr. Svara, I want to help Pascal overcome those negative emotions. I want to take on this responsibility. That way, I won't have to hide behind Mr. Svarag anymore. I understand, Clara. I support I won't intervene unless the situation risks. Thank you, Mr. Svarag. So, let's go. robot? Let's go take a look. Pascal, who did this to you? Pain. Hurt. Pain. Hurt. Pain. Clara, get away. This is a fragmentum creature. It's extremely dangerous. A fragmentum creature? What are you talking about? standard patrol mission. I have not received any other orders from the network hub. It's telling the truth. Mr. Svarog made a promise to me, and he never betrays his promises. Could it have malfunctioned? It appears to be normal. Please step back. I shall eliminate this fragmentum creature. No! It's going to attack Pascal! We have Hostility detected. Commence elimination protocols. Oh no! It's hurting Bird's enemies as well. Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past! This ends here. In the name of Landau, the will forged in ice never falters! That's better. You have. Don't mess with me. Follow my charge. Here, the thunder. Not each other. Nap time. What a headache. What? There's no time to lose. Conflict is finished. Show no mercy. Phew. Luckily, the patrol robot and Pascal's course are still intact. The only thing that puzzles me is why the big fellow mistook Pascal for a fragmentum creature. Hmm. I can't figure it out. Anyway, I'll take this core back and examine it. module connect connecting connection complete testing verifying all modules working connected welcome back everyone finally pascal has been waiting pascal you're back to normal oh i almost forgot Thank you for reminding me. Pascal, could you please, uh, explain why you were stealing parts? Collecting parts. Returning to workshop. Workshop? Oh, do you mean the tempering workshop in Rivet Town? Been waiting. Repair. 
follow, please. Pascal! Oh, Pascal ran off. He went in that direction. I think this place used to be a restaurant. One time, I found a bunch of canned food here. <laughs> the vagrants in the camp were so happy. However, I've always wondered, the light here, why is it still on? Also, there's dust all over the place, but none of the equipment appears to be deteriorating. I don't think so. No one should be living here. I never saw anyone when I came here to hunt for supplies. Anyway, someone must be looking after this place. But who and why? Abandoned town? Pascal, repair, indeed. Waiting, Vin, everyone. Workshop, tempering, here. Base, Pascal, secret. Parts, store, enemies, not here. Place, safe. Scared, no need, everybody. Ah, this appears to be the secret base where Pascal keeps the parts. Although we now know why he took them, there are still many unanswered questions. For example... Right. That bigger robot said that. Hmm. I wonder if we can find any clues here. Rivet Town, live, Clara! Tour, feel free, please! are so neatly cut out. Oh, and they smell like Geomero fuel. Is there someone here in Rivet Town doing this? Or could Pascal have collected the pages and put them together? This must be the result of Pascal's meticulous repairs. But the little fella doesn't really need the monitor, does he? Hmm. Hey, those look like handprints on the side of the cabinet. Human handprints. Could this monitor have been recently used by someone? Huh? What's this? A diary? Wow, such neat handwriting. No, wait a minute. I think this was printed onto the cover. Could it be Pascal's? what happened. Let me think. Hmm. How about we go over Pascal's whole story again, from the start? That a 
is correct. So, Pascal used to be a robot guardian of Rivet Town. Pascal's backup power was activated for some reason shortly after the residents were evacuated. It woke up to discover that the whole place had been abandoned, so it decided to collect parts, repair the town, and wait for everyone to return. However, for some reason, Pascal keeps getting attacked by his fellow robots because the automatons think he's a fragmentum creature. I'm not sure, but I suspect Pascal's tormented sense of self stems from him being constantly attacked by his fellow robots. The module used to detect emotions was frequently damaged, eventually turning him into a small robot that did nothing but collect parts. I don't know. I can't find the answer in Pascal's diary. Pascal, why do your peers keep rejecting you? Big Brother! Clara! Tour! Enjoyable, is it? Pascal, collect parts! Ready! Continue! Or... wait... Instruction, next! Pascal's consciousness does not appear to have returned to the level shown in the diary. Big Brother! Clara! Rivet Town! Resident! Pascal, protect everybody! I see. Thank you so much, Pascal. You can stop gathering parts for the time being. Just stay here and wait for us to return and give you your next orders, alright? Pascal Affirmative! Be good! Wait! Let's go back to Mr. Svarov and talk about what to do next. Mr. Svarov, but there's one thing I don't understand. Why is Pascal being treated as a Fragmentum creature? This robot has been repairing itself using Fragmentum contaminated components for an extended period of time. Therefore, automatons connected to the base network recognize it as a Fragmentum creature. This is a minor issue that can be resolved by replacing components. Do not worry. I see. Has Mr. Svarog ever witnessed a similar incident anywhere in the network? No. Network-connected automatons regularly clear out muddled information in their core modules. The likelihood of a robot gaining sentience beyond control is approximately 0.12%. For those that aren't connected to the network, the chance climbs to 3.23%. Please keep in mind that these probabilities are only estimates. Over the past 700 years, this has never happened in the underworld. To make life easier for users, all of Bellabog's automatons contain language simulation abilities. They generate appropriate responses by reading preset parameters and mimicking natural human conversations. This, however, is only a simulation, and it does not mean that the automatons have actual emotional intelligence. But... Mr. Svarog is different. Given that automatons can still develop emotion modules using their own processing power, I have a backup plan in place. Mr. Svarog always takes all factors into account and handles problems logically. So, what should we do with Pascal? It is recommended that Pascal's data be formatted and integrated into the base network. I will maintain the robot's core module and repair its hardware. There is a greater than 97.2% chance that this robot will return to normal after the bad sectors and muddled information are removed.
Once the formatting is complete, the robot's emotional intelligence will vanish. <sighs> is there no other option? This option minimizes both internal and external losses. Although Clara's account indicates that the robot is relatively stable, both the risk of Pascal crashing and the amount of muddled information are increasing when it approaches 100%. I understand, but I don't think I'm ready to give up on Pascal just yet. We've helped Pascal find compatible hardware. If we can eliminate the muddled information without damaging the sectors linked to his emotional intelligence, you know the chances of that are incredibly low, Clara. There's only one way to completely remove muddled information. Overwriting. When the muddled information is removed, the base network will create a comprehensive backup and overwrite the data stored in the corresponding sector. <sighs> Maybe there's another way. We can install a lock in Pascal's core. Clear the redundant data and locate the core sectors that are still intact. Then we can install a, a new suite of operational programs. This suite of programs can regulate Pascal's behavior and prevent him from hurting people. With this method, we might be able to retain as much of Pascal's emotional intelligence as possible while keeping him out of trouble. If we can keep Pascal's emotional intelligence, I might be able to teach him to treat people with kindness. This procedure is theoretically viable, but there are risks. In other words, because we cannot monitor the robot outside of the network, this approach can only guarantee Pascal's stability for a brief period of time. The probability of the robot crashing again is around. And if that happens, I'll do it again. And it But he will forget about you, Clara. He will repeatedly forget you. His limited storage capacity will eventually become completely overwritten by infinite copies of muddled information in an everlasting cycle. Clara, the challenge will be tougher than you can possibly imagine. There, there, Clara. There's no need to rush to a conclusion. The variable in Bellabog's fate is still here. Perhaps he can suggest the best solution. Okay. I... I trust your judgment. We trust your decision. Both have provided their solutions. Svarog thinks that formatting Pascal's data and integrating him into the base's network is necessary. But doing so will deprive Pascal of his special emotional intelligence. Although it may sound cruel, this approach best prevents Pascal from posing a threat. Clara thinks she can use programming to control Pascal's behavior and to prevent him from causing harm while keeping his emotional intelligence intact. However, this doesn't address the root of the issue, and it also requires Clara to devote much time and effort to Pascal. Although Clara will use Pascal's emotional intelligence to help guide him in the right direction, Pascal could still go out of control in the future. In addition, Pascal has a history of stealing, even though he never caused any harm to anyone. This is also a major concern. What is most important here? I need to think carefully and choose one solution, then persuade the other person. Clara proposed that you should choose Outsider. I respect her wish. Have you made a decision about how to handle Pascal? I had anticipated this possibility. Tell me what you think. I understand. You believe that Pascal's emotional intelligence derived from his own computational power, is no different from mine. I am currently still unable to conduct a thorough analysis of human empathy. However, I recognize the importance of respecting such emotions. Clara believes in you as a variable. Either way, your input will be taken into account. 
I'll keep gathering information and calculating new possibilities. Do you have any other insights, outsider? Clara's determination. This entry contains information that is difficult to quantify and may cause computational difficulties. Nonetheless, real experience has demonstrated that Clara's determination can often overcome all challenges. To ensure that Clara grows up well, I've always avoided overburdening her. But if Clara insists on taking on such responsibilities, then I have no right to object. There's no need to discuss this any further. If you insist on using Clara's solution, the Svarag base network will completely support you. My choice will have a direct impact on the outcome. I should mull it over. Pascal, we're back. Pascal, good. Waiting. Waiting. Further instructions. Now, please be a good boy and don't move. Pascal, we've got Mr. Svarag to help treat your illness. He'll help you recover. Illness? What is illness? But Pascal not move? Recover! Health! Mr. Svarov, let's get started. Understood. The protective programs are ready for installation. I hope I made the right decision. Is it done? The programs were successfully installed. The robot will require offline maintenance and will be unable to communicate for some time. We can return to it later. I see. In that case, let's go back to the base. I think it's over. I'll check in with Clara later to see what's up.